In this video, we're going to show you about brush tips. Brush tips mean that you are about to draw on a canvas that the brush you're using. Okay, so uh, let's click the brush button first. And where you can see inside brush library, there are different types of brush selections that hold different brushes. Yeah, that's what where you can see. And there are types of brushes that Procreate has made for you. Okay, so we're gonna start first by using the brush called Larapuna. Okay. Then I'm gonna draw this stroke. Mm hmm. You see that? So you can see the selections about the brush on the left side of the screen. So on the top part, this is the size brush. Yeah, the shape of the brush, the size of the brush changes different sizes to make it bigger or smaller. Okay, I'm gonna set it as the smaller size. And you can see that there are different kinds of strokes that you use in a different uh, brush size from each shape of the brush you're holding. Okay? Yeah. So whatever you do is by that, that if you want to save the brush size of the stroke, tap a plus so that it will show you the line that where it's saved so that you can save it for a stroke for next time. You can still ever scroll, but whatever if the brush selection gets close to it, like this for the size, then it will only show you uh, that's uh, only the stroke that you're holding it. Cause that might be quite useful. So I'm gonna go for 9%. It doesn't matter what is the different part of the brush size and the brush that you're using. Okay. And on the bottom selection, this is the opacity brush. It means that the stroke that, you, stroke that you're drawing from the shape that'll show you uh, from the transparent to the opaque of the opacity. All right. So I set that to 100% because you see them that holds the exact solid color. So I'm gonna lower the opacity. So whenever you lower down the opacity, it will show you this, like, oops. Then it'll become uh, translucent. Right. It will uh, show you up that the color might be mixed to white, for example. Because I'm using the pure black color. This is the only useful color that we are just practicing. Okay? Because the opacity brush can also mean that to save uh, the opacity uh, size of the brush. You can also do that. But mine, I'm not quite interested if I can do about that. Okay, so you remember how to undo. Another way to undo for the canvas. Yep, tap with two fingers on the 
screen to undo the last strokes. Okay. And remember to redo. Tap with three fingers on the screen. Oops. I'm just done by that. Okay. So now I'm gonna be choosing the different colors. And I'm gonna show you another tip, for example. So here's a special way. So you see that uh, there are looking similar colors to you, like the closest colors, but I've put the light blue color and a darker blue color. It will look like a regular blue to me. Okay. So here is a fun trick. You see that there is a... Uh, finger that's pointing into this is called the smudge button it'll only like to show you up like the smudge but it'll only use it as the brush uh, that you can see uh, like uh, you whether like you saw that uh, from the stroke it's kind of like its texture mm -hmm. okay so now, if I smudge in the middle between two of these colors, oops. Then that means the color that you might go that will bl uh, blend well through And quite well. Yeah. You see by that, right? Because I've used light blue and a blue. So that whatever you see, yeah, it's kind of like a blending tool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is so easy. Because I just know about uh, blending colors by using two different colors. Like we do that in the common times. Because this is so easy. But for practicing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is another part that is to erase. It'll only uh, show up the color from the brush that you're using. Okay. So to erase the strokes, uh, like even though you just made a mistake as a part of that, tap an eraser, use uh, whichever brush That'll make sense to show you up to exact uh, losing some strokes. So I'm going to go for the monoline brush. Yep, that's a thing. All right. Because you've ended up with a part of the stroke that'll only show up what's the only become the background color mm, the color of the background it'll only show you up for just only one stroke that the type of brush that you've have chosen or what you can do is to tap and hold there's another trick that will let you to hold it up by using the brush, the brush back from the brush design that you chose. All right. You can also do that is to by simply uh, tapping and holding the smudge tool. So now what you're going to do is that Whenever you see the star button, 
on the left side of the brush library section, that is on the very top, it will show you that the brushes uh, the last time you used. So you can uh, clear out the brush. That if you may not use them anymore, or whatever you can do is that if you cannot ever find out the brush that which part of it is from, you must simply slide it to the left and tap the find button. It'll only show you up uh, the exact uh, group that the brush belong. All right, this is easy. You can also pin it that you can exactly keep it the way to show you so that however it looks and that you see that the brush section that there is that is marked by a star on the upper right yeah so you can clear up especially with the with the pin ones, okay? So whatever you can do there in the brush library, that you will see when you scroll that up, and this is the plus button that says that to custom, add and custom new brushes. And it will show you up like this. But I already added the brushes, this one. Or you can also uh, download the brushes by simply uh, just download it uh, from files to here. So this is the one. This one is Art with Flow. That is my favorite uh, brush selection. And we always use it as the extra pack. So if you don't have this, then please go to freefromflow.com in the description down below. So that way, uh, you have to uh, access an email and click get access and you just wait till your treasure chest uh, arrives here for you. Yeah, because this one's a part of a treasure chest. You should download it. Yeah. Or even here, this is uh, the plus button. This is uh, where you can add and custom a new brush. So if you ever tap this brush that's already in blue, it'll let you to go to Brush Studio and there are uh, useful ways uh, that there are different brushes that they can explore between us and it's also even that the part is made of special yeah special uh by fantasy mm. these are uh, things that we never ever made them before like that like with these shapes or from those they're really special, but uh, you don't need to ever feel afraid about you haven't made them like that before. I will show you like how to experience this, but I don't experience as making brushes and to customize the brush source by in the brush library studio. Okay. And so I guess uh, that's it in for today's video. I hope you had fun. Uh, please. Subscribe. 
And don't forget to follow on my Instagram page. Yeah, you, you like them as how I wrote on that, huh? Okay, so goodbye everyone. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.